Well, it's one of the only times of the year you can do your holiday shopping at a museum. The third annual Holiday Pottery Bazaar kicks off this morning. News 13's Adriana Cotero is live at the Myrtle Beach Art Museum, where the event takes place. Good morning, Adriana. Good, good morning, Taylor. In just a few hours, the Myrtle Beach Art Museum will open its doors and let shoppers in. Last year, the museum featured about 10,000 pieces of artwork for sale, and this year, they're expecting more. It starts with throwing pottery clay in a studio beneath the art museum. So we have wheel-based classes as well as hand-building classes. It's a place for students at all levels to build, create, and now sell their artwork upstairs in the gallery. Pottery Bazaar holiday sale, and so it was a good idea for all of our students to come and sell their pieces that they've been making for months on end. The Myrtle Beach Art Museum becomes a holiday marketplace featuring a combination of students and local artists' work. It's a great opportunity for artists to sell their work, not just to have and the gift to their loved ones, but also kind of commercially and kind of broaden their um, artistry in that way. Pottery Studio Coordinator Bree McNamara says this year there are 22 participating artists bringing 80 boxes filled with ceramics. There isn't a cap necessarily, so people are allowed to bring as many items as they want. One of our artists actually has 13 boxes full. There are ornaments, mugs, platters, flower pots, bowls, and even sculptures for sale. McNamara says the items range in prices and 40% of sales go to the artist, 10% to the studio, and the remaining 50% to the museum. This is the third year for the event, but McNamara has a good feeling it will return for years to come. I think the more we do this, the more years we do this, people are starting to plan more and more and kind of already having an idea of what they want to make, what they want to sell, so every year it's getting bigger. The event starts today running from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and will continue through Saturday. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Adriana Cotero, News 13.